What is up guys? I had hoped I'd have the Raspberry Pi Smart Kitchen video edited and up for you this week, but unfortunately I failed miserably and I haven't finished editing it yet. Alexa, what's on my calendar tomorrow? Tomorrow, there are five events. Here are the first four events. There's MKM Neil Live TV, which lasts all day. At 5 p.m. there's dinner at Patty's. At 6 p.m. there's finish the YouTube video. So instead tonight I thought I'd do a quick little mailbag. I got some parts for the Raspberry Pi projects. Ate a fruit fresh today. I'm just down here in the studio. If you didn't see this, this is uh, the beginnings of my, my studio setup in the basement. I did do a, a 360 video on this not that long ago. And also, if you didn't see it, this is the MakeMe.TV live broadcasting studio. I've got OBS streaming all the archives from the MakeMe lab 24 hours a day, seven days a week on the MakeMe.TV website slash YouTube channel. Uh, pretty happy with that. It's a neat little, uh, I don't know, it's neat to have one's own TV station. Hey, why not? And we'll get this set up a little better down here with, I've uh, got the studio lighting and the wife's been using it for her new YouTube channel, which I'll announce here. Uh, I'll post a link probably next video. Well, let's carry on. I've also got the 3D printer running tonight. I've been working on my uh, FPV backpack of sorts for my racing quads. Man, I love this thing. This is a $20 backpack from Gearbest that I converted over for all my, uh, all my quad gear. But as a result, inside the pack, I had to take some measures to protect the gimbals on the camera, or on the transmitter. So these 3D printed uh, gimbal protectors were just the thing. So I just fired up the printer and making the second one right now. It's coming along pretty good. So it should be done in, I don't know, about 40 minutes. Love this system, good old lunch pail. If you guys want to see this, I'll do a standalone video on this uh, backpack setup on how I've got it rigged and what I've got in it. Sneak peek, best use ever for cat collars from the dollar store for hanging your quads and equipment. Works great. Anyway, let's carry on. I'd really hoped I could have finished the editing on the Pi Smart Kitchen videos for you, but unfortunately, I'm just been bogged down in the details of the editing and it's just taking way too long. I'll get them up for you next week. But in the meantime, my order from Adafruit arrived today. I don't terribly often order from Adafruit anymore because here in Canada, this came with a $40 owing customs and brokerage on the top of this cost, uh, I think just about 200 bucks. So it's not cheap, but we got lots of cool stuff. First out of the box, slightly damaged box but eh, whatever inside it's fine raspberry pi 3 powerful little single board computer most of you guys will be familiar with this love it you can put all kinds of operating systems on it wi-fi on board bluetooth on board incredibly powerful little 35 dollar board pc uh so many uses i'm out of them because well the kitchen pie used my last one so now we have two more also in the box, 802.11n Wi-Fi dongle. Uh, I just grabbed one because they're like 10 bucks and I know it's gonna work with the Pi with no problems with drivers, can't fail. Really excited about these. Been waiting forever to have one and finally we do the Raspberry Pi Zero. Also a single board computer, a $5 one. Now, you can only buy one at a time and these things cost more than five bucks by the time you get it to the door by a long shot. But I got two of them. We can use these in embedded projects, all kinds of cool stuff coming up on the channel using these. Uh, the way I got two, they are limited to one per person, which is bloody ridiculous. I got their starter kit. And within the kit, you get a Pi Zero, which uh, overrides the one per person rule. And then you get power supply, USB cable for powering it, USB adapter, some header pins, the HDMI adapter, which takes your normal HDMI down to, I can't remember if there's a mini or a micro. You get a SanDisk 
8 gigabyte SD card, and of course the Pi Zero. Can't wait to give these a go in the upcoming projects. Well, uh, uh, it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm really, really itching to give one of these a try. It is. I'm glad I bought them now. I kind of regretted paying so much money to get this order, but it was totally worth it. Uh, this is something that you can't get from very many sources yet, which uh, I hope changes. And then I got the Mod My Pi Zero case from Adafruit. Um, just in case, we want to do something to have a little better looking enclosure for the Pi Zero. I can definitely 3D print this stuff, but I think it was like five bucks, and eh, for the hour or more it would take the printer to run to make this, can't go far wrong. It is nice, I like it. And the Pi Zero will live in there and we'll be all set. So that is it. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'm going to go back to editing some video really happy with the way my uh, my smart kitchen project is coming along and I'll get that video up for you next week.